Hello, Mr. Kesh. Um, can you hear me there? Yes. Uh, good morning. Good day to you. And I hope you have a wonderful day today, wherever and whenever you listen to this broadcast. Today is an important day for the Kesh Foundation. And in what about uh, we are to release? As a lot of you know, we have been developing a technology over years that can meet the demands of what we call partially or fully energy need of the household. One of the problems in bringing old technology into working with a new technology is the interface connection. The problem with the old technology or what you live with, you work with, as what you call electric current, it means you use the vibration of the flow or the flow of the vibration of an electron in respect to proton in condition of whatever it vibrates within a bracket of. This, good morning. This has had its limitation and it has caused a lot of problem in developing new technologies. In plasma technology, we don't look at a small vibration release of energy of an electron. We look at totality of the energy of an atom, what we call a plasma. For us, the most difficult part has been to explain that the energy within this is so huge that the little vibration literally counts as nothing. It took years to develop the technology. It took years to bring about in understanding and at the same time teaching to a large number of people in our, to understand the work of the plasma the way we consider it. When we spoke about the application of the plasmatic tapes and then the pens, when you saw the result, your condition and connection was, there was there suing something, you still don't have the trust in what it is. The problem we have in the energy, and especially in motion, when it comes to difference between the matter state and the plasma state, is showing the capability how more powerful a plasma is and how much more it can give with little effort. Originally, as I keep on saying, we saw it with the 129 Tesla at 12 watt, where the 12 watt was literally rotating the plasmas and that's all we needed. The next step in the development of the energy interface with the present electric current, electrical, electronic system, is to show how the plasma with its power can do more with such a little supply. Here, to create a vibration as an electron, you burn fuel, you create rotation of, uh, uh, what you call it, the rotors in a coil to create a vibration, to create by rotation of the, what they call the, you're okay, rotor, we bring in the kick energy to kick this electron up and down to create a flow of the energy which releases. But now with a new understanding of the plasma, this is too cumbersome. This is absolutely not needed. It's a waste of time where we can deal with the totality and not just the vibration of the little, but the full plasma. As I've said many times, and I repeat it because you have to understand it, and it seems somehow it still is a puzzle to you. When we connect a unit 
to a plasma source, what you call Alex beads and the other things which we have developed. You people in the United States make the bead, connect your system and use 120, 110 voltage. Maybe at 50 to 160 hertz. The same material is used here in Europe or in China or different part of the world and we plug the same thing in and we use 220, 240, again 50 to 60 hertz. Up to now, this was impossibility. If you wanted to move from one to another, you had to have different adapters. Now, because you have the plasma, you take from it what you need. So, we don't need adoption, we don't need filtering. It changes the whole ball game of energy supply and energy demand. But, at the same time, we come to a new dimension. That is, we're dealing with plasma, not with electron vibration. And dealing with plasma, it means dealing with totality. It means, if you consider a cell of human body is a plasma, a fish is a plasma, his part, his cells, a banana, an orange, whatever you consider, they are made of plasma. And because they are made in the atmosphere of this planet, they all have one common denominator, Mr. Cohen, which is they're all amino acid based. Wheat, the same. So what happened now that we have access to the full package of the plasma, we can use the plasma and according to its strength, let's say one, two, three, and four, we create what we need from the plasma, from each part of it. So, we can have one from this part of it, two from this, three and four. So, and then let's say we have a zinc or we have a copper. So, we decide to make copper here and zinc there or whatever. Now, for the first time, man has the capability to play with totality, to manipulate totality instead of waiting for meager vibration of the electron. This is where the change comes and this is where the change starts from today. Where we not only talk about it, but from now on, we deliver a system which only releases to you plasma. This is what is called the plasma technology. We are not releasing to you a current. We are not releasing you a power supply. We call it a power supply because it has the power to deliver plasma. It's you who has to decide what systems you put inside it to get what you want from it. It is very much if I don't damage anything, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a system which releases plasma and it's you from now on at each point what you want from the plasma. You want the current to run the laptop, you want a plasma section to run and produce oxygen, water, zinc or whatever. The new plasma technology is not in the dreamland of knowing things, but in the reality of how to manipulate it in achieving what we need. What does this mean? This means from today, the ball game in respect to energy, food, materials, motion has changed. And now that we see this change, which we are the cause of it as a Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute, and in releasing the technology, we need to inform the totality of mankind. Human race in one go has to be informed. Otherwise, 
we go back into the elements of one man here, one man there, back of the street dealing, selling a unit. We don't do this. We are strong, we are correct, and we know the capability of the technology, and we have proven it to be correct. So what we are doing today, from this moment on, we call for the international cooperation of the governments to bring this new technology in one go together into the world society that we can all use it. As you know, Keshe Foundation, in 21st of April 2012, organized and fulfilled the meeting of the world ambassadors in Keshe Foundation headquarters in Nino. We arranged the second world ambassador meeting on the 6th of September of 2012. And today we announced the third World Ambassador Meeting in Rome on the 16th of October. What's going to change this time is not the talk anymore. This time, every ambassador will be given a power unit to carry with him with a blueprint, the way we did with the USB sticks, back to their nations. The way each ambassador asked for a USB stick, and we gave the full patent, now we give the end products. And the end products is very simple. Every nation, every man on this planet can produce it. And if you can't, we do it for you. This is the final product. It will look like this. It's the exact copy of what you're going to get. The only difference is you have a logo on it. The Spaceship Institute, Maglav Power System. Weighs less than a kilo and only delivers plasma. It's you who has to change it. It will have two wires coming out, one if you want to supply, put it to the grid, and one for the load. It's you who decides how the load is going to be. You connect it to a divider, as we saw. So what happens today, we are delivering this power unit to world, public. And for it not to be stopped, we are organizing the following. Days before the 16th, a number of units will be carried by individuals. One to the President of the United States, President Obama. His Excellency will receive a copy, an actual working unit. They can test it in the White House. One will be flown to Tehran, to my beloved country, for His Excellency President Rouhani, by the Diplomatic Corps of Iran, through the ambassadorial section. One will be carried by Amman for the President of the Republic of Armenia. One will be flown by Alex to Nigeria for the President of Nigeria. One will be flown by Benjamin to deliver to the president of Ghana. One will be taken across to Moscow for His Excellency President Putin. And one has been arranged to be delivered to His Excellency President Xi of China. So we deliver units to the presidents and to the ambassadors at the same time. This time, we don't play the game of last time that we gave the key and we waited two years. Simultaneously, two days before or the same day, all the units which has been ordered will be dispatched from two locations, in Philippines and in Europe. Secondly, a thousand units will be distributed across the Philippines to the people randomly. A thousand units will be delivered across Italy in different cities randomly to people. So this time, governments, people, and diplomats receive the same package at the same time. You have to understand that these units are plasma units. So they meet what is not manual matter state. In a coming due time to well-planned as I explained this morning to Marco and Giovanni, we will then deliver a generator unit. 
General the units will be delivered to Africa directly because in Africa, they don't need the power unit. The power unit is where you plug your system into the grid and you take power, anything which is non-resistive for your system. Then in the due course, we will release the power generators in Europe and across the world too. But what is important is not the energy, is the capability of these systems to deliver whatever you need with adding different units to it. With the new energy systems, by the time they will be out before Christmas, hopefully we can deliver to you energy transfer food system. What this means is you can use the systems parallel, which is fixed to it or can be added to it, where without eating food, you can receive the energy of the food through what we call non-linked connections in a way that you receive energy from the sun. We absorb vitamin A from the rays of the sun when it hits the earth. Now we have developed a technology that we can transfer most of the man's energy across through the system without the need to digest it. In the coming day, today or tomorrow, Alex will explain more of this to you. I have explained to him what to do, he's done, and we announced yesterday in the teachings. So the food transfer does not become feeding one man. In a kind of disaster position, we can feed thousands of people through the same supply. These are not the dreams, these are the realities which has come with the development of the industrial revolution like plasma technology. The course of mankind has changed. We have no say in what is going to happen, but we can see, good morning, we can see the changes are so huge that a lot of people will have a problem to adjust to it. But the only good thing with it is, we have geared up the manufacturing to 1 million units in November and December across Europe. So we meet the demand, we'll try to come, and we teach as many organizations to produce this system as fast as possible. I put a lot of effort and concentration into Africa to make sure this time Africa comes maybe faster or at least ahead of the rest of the continent in development of this technology for its use. This is paramount to me and we see how it goes. Enough wrong has been done in Africa. Maybe this time we can correct it. So in the next by the 16th of this month, you will receive, or you can purchase, good morning, your units this size, weighing less than a kilo, meeting more or less in coming months, all the needs of your house. You want to power your computer, you want to power your uh, fridge, freezers, and in a change, an addition unit to come out with it, you can use it for even resistive materials, because these units are power units for non-resistive. And that's why we sell it as a power unit. The heating unit, which is addition to it, will be added to it in a time that we hopefully can meet by December or fall, beginning of this winter, that people can use it for energy application. It needs a evolution in development, and we are there, we have we have it to done, but it needs to be tested. So from now on, when you see the blue, the color of this planet, you will understand you have everything that this planet has to give you. You will not be short of anything. As this planet gives you water, energy, food, material, this blue box will do the same in the coming time. It's the color of the planet. It specifically has been chosen for this and it will deliver plasma technology as you and the rest of humanity will develop it. We have put the first brick of the wall. It's for you to build the wall. So in the coming time, we will not speak about the current flow, how many kilowatts you need, how many kilowatts the energy system supplies. It's how much you need that you don't overuse it. 
I was talking past couple of days to one of the research teams. He said, do you know Mr. Kesh? I said, yes, what's happening? He said, we used to switch the light off when we went out of the room and make sure there's no electricity use. He says, now the whole house day and night is lit. We leave everything on because we have no worries. And I said, this is the wrong way we are going. Don't change the habit because it's still using the energy, but you're putting it back somewhere else. So this is what we told you. You can use as much as you can. At the beginning, it will be a mayhem. But then you're not tapping into nobody's energy. You're not using no one's energy. You're using the energy which is embedded and it can last you for years. How long? It's irrelevant. We will price these at an affordable unit price that every man can afford. The energy unit which we promoted and we are selling, this is still be kept at the same price till we decide the final price of this. We are working closely and in synchronization with Philippines. The manufacturing in Philippines is deliberately done to make sure that it cannot be silenced or stopped in one country. Furthermore, once you come to the point trying to produce these units, as nobody else has done it before, we will provide you with everything that we make sure as fast as possible you can market it. You can go on the Cash Foundation website through the manufacturing side. Once you register yourself as a manufacturer and you accept it, you can order not only take up the blue plasma pattern, you can pick up the machinery which can be used. You can pick up the die casting that can be used. You can pick up even all the materials that you can be provided fully. So when we open the doors after the 16th of October, you can buy a full factory for your country at a snap of a finger. Our problem is how much you can meet the demand and how we will rely on other countries to support us to do. I have already placed 20 piece order for Africa for the manufacturing of the initial system without the cast. It should be completed to meet the 16. And once we do, literally off the line, you have a power supply. And this is what we need in Africa. In Africa, we need to be able to complete. So I've taken the first orders as the part of the backup of the Cash Foundation to meet the need of Africa. Is for you to go back and place your orders. We supply you. We get as many casts to be manufactured, or you can produce yours. The reason we done this is a lot of you don't have the capability to design and then find somewhere to manufacture it, then find someone who can have the machinery to do it. This way, we free mankind from the hackles of scientific development. Then you can manipulate it. Then you can do it. The estimated cost, we don't know yet. Something like 30 to 50,000 euro. That's including the cast, the system to make, and the rest. I prefer it to be around 10 to 20,000 euro. And for African nations, I have on the sign the Cash Foundation to meet their expenses. Good morning, Abby. So, what you've been waiting for as power supply does not need certification because falls on the international laws and we give personal guarantee certification according to EU standard that the system can be used and it'll be marketed immediately with full cover certification. If you produce in your own countries, you have no problem because there is no standard for certification plasma technology at this moment of time. And secondly, those who do the scale mongering have no room because your body takes from the plasma what it needs. So you cannot do any harm. 
The change of the course is very simple. We deliver a full package technology on the 16th to world governments. At the same time, it will be distributed across two nations in full. That if anything they try to stop, the technology is already amongst men. We do not tell you what we plan to do beforehand and what is done, but we have made sure by the 16th, a number of units are distributed across the world that there is no possibility of blocking the technology. This time, we all go the same way in harnessing the energy of a plasma. This is the way the universe works, and this is the way we shall work. Those who have made a lot of hoo-ha, now they have to bury their head in shame, more than shame. All they've done was to promote themselves on the back of the foundation to find themselves credibility, but unfortunately, they lost all credibility in what they do. So, as I said, on the 16th, at six o'clock in Rome, world ambassadors are invited, will be invited, and each ambassador which attends will receive a unit, a blueprint, and the only condition for receiving it is the signing of the World Peace Treaty and commitment of the nation to World Peace Map. It means we give knowledge, we give technology in exchange for peace. And that was the outline of the work of the Keshe Nation. We have called the conference free energy in exchange for peace. We will provide you with a list of all the ambassadors, embassies, emails, and telephone numbers. It's you who have to inform your ambassadors, most probably in Manila, 100% in uh, Rome, to attend to receive the gift of energy freely from the foundation. You've done this before. Italian did this perfectly. That's why we're in Italy. When we did the Peace Conference, Second Peace Conference in Ninov in 2012, Italian community put so much pressure on the government and the embassy that the Italian government officials broke rank and they attended the conference against the pressures from American government and NATO, that no European country and no NATO member can attend the, the peace conference of the ambassadors. This time is back to you to inform, send information to your ambassadors to attend to receive a free gift. Those who do not attend, we leave it to you to decide what their destination and what their inclination is. As I said, on their arrival, once they hand over the signed documents of the World Peace Treaty, they will receive a unit in hand with a full blueprint full instruction how to make, and full instruction how to assemble it, to produce it for the nation. You have to understand why we give this to the government. They will lose huge amount of income. Governments will collapse on the economical lack of finances. But always industrial revolutions have had these things. We cannot wait to be done in pieces. We are doing it in one go, in one shot, in one hit, that everybody is in the same pot. As I told you two, three weeks ago, when I was in north of Italy, where I was in a hotel, I had the Saudi prince with me in a hotel staying, and I explained to him, you better do not load any crude oil on any tankers in the next two, three months, because you will have nowhere to sell it. I explained to the Saudi government officials exactly what is to come, and now they see it. I asked the prince to convey the message to Saudi government to stop taking the steps. Do not load tankers, which are not going nowhere, and when the oil is out, and you have not to sell it, 
the oil contamination of the tankers floating on the high seas is too dangerous. The implication of development and release of this technology is huge. Governments will lose revenue from energy. Governments will lose revenue on a parallel unit, which we release at the same time, where you put this unit in your car, reducing your fuel cost between 30 to 70 percent, will damage the income of taxes on your government. These units come in two forms, one power unit for the house and one power unit for the car. And what it does, in time, the plasma technology will change the structure of the car and the behavior of the car. And I'm sure the scientists of this race will develop it to a point that we don't need to burn engine, burn any fuel. This subsidiary point for the car is well, and will be vital for the countries like China. The smog we see in Beijing, in Shanghai, we see in New York, we see in major cities in the world, will disappear overnight when the governments will give these units to the people to put in their car. Immediate 50%, 60% reduction in fuel consumption will change the climate instantaneously. This is why we see China, and especially a city like Tehran, which is summertime, nobody can breathe anymore, to be cleaned up by the application of this technology, even though it might bring economical changes. The beauty with this change is, if you go back to 1972, when the extra of Iran increased the price of oil from two and a half barrel a day, uh, uh, two and a half dollar per barrel, to three and a half, it created economical crisis in Europe. Hospitals had no electricity, by fuel going up by one dollar over six months. Now we are paying 180, and now we've gone back to 40, 60 dollars a barrel, and we don't say a thing. This time, the problem is reverse. It's free energy, and all the governments will drop together in their finances, is not choosing one or the other. The countries which have committed themselves to nuclear technology will suffer heavily if they do not block their nuclear technology in reaching plasma. The countries which have committed their nation to hundreds of tens of billions of dollars building power stations, building dams, they'll find out they should be, they will be soon shut down. But the problem is now the nations like Africa, which have no commitment to this line, will have no debts. And Western nations, which have committed themselves to billions of hundreds of billions of dollars building power stations, have to service their debts for centuries, for decades to come. And in them being serving their debts, allows the African and the other nations all become the same. It's a beautiful the way this technology will change. The third world nation has no death into power and they achieve power rapidly in no time. And the first and what we call advanced nations will be busy serving the debts which they created falsely. Now they have to pay for it. Then this way we find a balance. We'll find a place where we can find equality between all nations, and as we become one nation, one planet, then we find a solution. My target, major target after Africa is India. India will be suffering heavily if we do not support this into India rapidly. Fortunately, but bright light, I have connection in India, and throughout Indian subcontinent, we will enforce delivery of these systems very rapidly. Then it'll come to the point how the human race will change the course of humanity through the use of simple plasma. You can make it out of coconut, you can make it out of a leaf. You can make it out of the most advanced materials, but the end product is all of you will create one thing, and that's a plasma. Now we have seen it. 
As I said many times, I've been left too long, too free to publish too much, to teach too much, that now there are enough people that they can replicate it. So the solution sits in one way. We work one mission, one planet, and from 16th of October at six o'clock in Rome, we will change the course of humanity by giving free the energy to the man who spends so much controlling through energy the humanity. Major oil corporations have lost their power. Major governments have no say because everybody can have everything they want. I have put people, and further we put more people, in locations to teach terrible nations heavily. I'm not here tomorrow, but tomorrow, as I'm in Rome, Benjamin in Ghana will make a presentation to the leaders of Ghanaian government how to build and what the technology can do. And through it, we'll teach the rest of Africa. We put Africans like Benjamin and Alex in charge of Africa because they understand the mentality and they can teach easier than we can do. This time is not an invasion by the white, for supremacy and for pressurizing and suppressing is working all together equally. We give technology to the Chinese that they take it across to their government and the nation the way you have seen they developed it. We do the same with the Indians for Indians and New Zealand people from New Zealand and South Americans for the South Americans. So the position has changed. In the next six, 12 months, we will see collapse of major organization connected to pharmaceutical and oil industry without the shadow of a doubt. All these monopolies for health, monopolies for energy has finished. And it's the beauty of it is the Cash Foundation with thousands of supporters around the world, more or less in every nation, will do it for your nation. You don't need us. We do not ask to send any money to Cash Foundation. We do not sign any non-disclosure agreements. We do not give you secrecy agreements. We don't even sign copyright agreements. You can use the logo of the Cash Foundation if you keep the ethos of Cash Foundation anywhere in the world. The logo of the Cash Foundation, the Spaceship Institute, is the sign of peace, equality. It's you who have to use it the correct way. When you see the logo of the Cash Foundation, it becomes a matter of trust in plasma technology, in understanding what it is and what can deliver. In next three weeks, we work heavily across the world with all the pressure we can bring on all the governments to attend the peace conference. As we said, free energy in exchange for peace is the title of the conference, and the conference is very simple. I hope we will have the pleasure of having the Iranian ambassador to Rome as the first speaker opening the session, and then we'll see the other ambassadors to follow. The problem is not race, religion, or color. The problem is how we can teach each other faster to find new developments, new technologies, because in the coming weeks, even this power unit become a child play. Because by the time we deliver to you in the coming weeks, the space program that you can fly with no, what I call material, with no fuel, because you use the possibilities and the power of the plasma to find position the way the planetary system in the universe work, then you'll find out this plasma reactor power unit has been the beginning of a bigger industrial change. This is the beginning to tell the governments, not only the knowledge is coming, in a few weeks time, when you can place a system not very, very different than this, in front of your house, in your car, and within minutes you can land from Africa into, let's say, the White House garden, then the governments realize something has to be done. 
Don't forget this time. This unit will change you in a very different way. Because now you can be any way you like. There will be no borders. Governments will find this very, very soon. Borders are over. Legislation to separate by color, race, and diplomacy is over. There will be one diplomacy equal for everyone. Because if I don't like it, I pack my tent. Tonight I live in Africa. I don't like it. Tonight I go back and live in New Zealand. It takes me half an hour, 20 minutes to travel. And secondly, governments have no say. They have no control. You do not understand what this blue box will bring you. It will bring absolute chaos for governments for what they have set up to control. Because with this blue box, they lost the full control. There is no control. There is no possibility to change the course of humanity because hundreds of thousands of you already know how to build this. You will be shocked when you open the inside of it. It's so simple. I think a five-year-old Chinese girl who made the nanomaterial in a toilet as a video they put to show how simple it is against the top scientists in the world, she will make you one of these and she'll be free from energy for the rest of her life. We have made it so simple. You can play football with it. You can do whatever you like. There is no moving part. Whatever you like. You can even kick it. It still will work. There is no way. If you kick the earth, would it be damaged? No. It's the same thing. It is totally solid state. And the governments, as we say, will shiver in their skin when this is released. I have to tell you, a number has already been made and positioned that if anything happens, they'll go public. The blueprints will be released on the internet so fast that no government can do. So it's better for governments to collaborate with us than trying to destroy it. Because it cannot be destroyed. The technology stands on its own. Tomorrow morning in Rome, this will be shown to the Italian government for communication with the rest of the EU to take the steps. The reason we work this way with Italian government is because we are based here and we will like the way they have supported us up to now in protecting us and allowing us to teach and develop. We go to the next steps with the Italian authorities. So the working unit of this tomorrow morning will be in the offices of the Italian government ministers. They will see it, they can test it, they can eat it, and then the rest of the world knows we are serious. So, very simple. You can build it yourself. If you can't, we build it for you. And you pay us the rate we want that we can give to those who cannot even afford making it. A man who earns $1 a week should have the same advantage as the man who earns $1 million a day by defrauding and all kinds of previous activities. In being able to feed himself, to have energy, to be able to travel in the freedom of the space of this planet. So, what you have been waiting for, and you made a lot of waiting, and I thank a lot of you who collaborated with us to bring this to this point. The system is here. Tomorrow morning it will be in Rome, and a number has already been made across the world, deposited in different ways, and the blueprint package is out of my hand. So what it means, if anything happens, people who we trusted automatically will go on the internet and will release the full blueprint. So stopping the foundation will have no purpose. I have traveled in past few weeks, met people, trusted people off the street, and I told them who I am, and they know what they have to do. This time, there will be no Tesla to hide, and there will be no assassination by the people who sit in Brussels. This time, we release the technology. 
correctly in the hand of everyone. And as I said, you decide what you want to plug into this and what you want to get out of it. Food, materials, flight system, medicine, change of the position of cancer, all now is possible. It's you who have to develop it in a further way and do what we did, share it open. I have taught enough that there are enough knowledgeable people around the world how to carry this one out. It's very simple and it's very efficient. Weighs is less than a kilo. You don't need a fancy work. A coconut can be used to do the same job. So we don't need to send fancy work jobs to Africa. They can empty a coconut, they still have the reactor. So we'll see if we play with these better football than the Africans will do with a coconut. So as I said, it's your responsibility who listen. Publish this across the internet. Every one of you get down and write to your embassies, to your ambassadors, to your government in Rome. And hopefully we confirm to Manila within the coming days that to attend the Cash Foundation, energy, free energy in exchange for peace conference. We only allow people who have received the formal invitation to attend the meeting. You can attend the outside and be there. And if you're lucky, you might receive a unit free as a gift from the Keshe Foundation. You can go home that night and be free from the shackles of the energy for good. So as we said, a thousand units will be distributed across Europe on the 16th, on the 17th. A thousand units will be distributed across Philippines for the poorest people. And every ambassador who decides to attend will have a copy. And anyone who wants to carry one to their own president can come to Italy, receive one in a sealed pack, and deliver the unit to your president, if your ambassador does not turn up. So the choice is either way, your government to accept the eventuality of the evolution of the new scientific development. It's no need to change. It's no need to be changed. You will develop it. You will add to the knowledge. That's the beauty of it. And you bring your own flavors in the distribution of the new technology. But this system, the energy system, or the car system will touch the life of every man on this planet within the next 12 months. Because we all want the free energy, we all want to have the warmth, we all don't want to work 365 days a week. More or less, we work on average 40 weeks a year for two weeks of holidays for somebody if he's generous enough to give us but we have to do it because we need to feed our children we need to warm the place and we need a shelter to live in a coming time these units will show you how you can make yourself shelter you don't need to spend one million half a million two hundred thousand for a 40 meter square building just to have home. The game has changed and as we said, we are delivering all the commitment we made, all the orders which has come through to the Cash Foundation on the 16th simultaneously around the world. So it means all the units, all the energy units, all the car units which you have ordered and you're ordering will be delivered on that day. Now, the game is yours. The people in the background of Cash Foundation have started the process of inviting the ambassadors. 
hopefully we will hold simultaneous conferences in two or three nations at that time. But at the same time, the purpose is to achieve world peace, to destroying the old and bringing the past, which has been unjust, equal to a new balance. I've done my job. I have delivered the technology and a working unit. Tomorrow morning, the Italian government will receive a full working unit in their hand to see. As we are in Italy, we stay loyal to the nation. In turn, units will be flown, as I said, to seven to 10 destinations to the president's life. And in turn, we expect you to support the foundation by cover the mass media on every aspects, the way the Italians did three years ago, to make sure this time is not a knowledge, it's a solid state working piece that you need to carry with yourself to your country, to your presidents, to show them that views of the nation is over. I have no problem. I have done what I came here to do. But the problem now sits with you, how you imply, apply this technology. Be just with it and be correct. You will enjoy it. Be unjust to it. It will punish you beyond your imagination. Do not forget that the plasma is made of your thoughts, is plasma. Your brain is made of plasma because you carry atoms and atoms and molecules are made of plasma and have the biggest fear. It reads your thoughts because it has to be in balance with the rest. You will find out the ones who have a devious thoughts will pay for it deviously. We do not look at the past. The past is finished. What we got to do is to look forward to a new horizon for humanity. Free from the shackles of energy, free from the shackles of food, free from the shackles of material to have home. Simple technology, the way the universe works, is not something especially developed, is replicating the work of the universe and the way the universe creates energy, the way the universe creates motion, the way the universe uses material, you do the same, you will achieve the same. Medicine, the way it's been manipulated today, is finished. There will be more unemployed pharmaceutical people on the, on the streets than anybody else. The thieves are packed out, now they have to eat what is stolen because there's not much to eat to eat. The same with the oil industry. People who have used the oil industry to the benefits of whatever they've done, your, not your days are finished, your day is already finished. It's how you can put back into the society what you have taken by wrongdoing. I have no problem. It's yours to decide. Develop new ways to enhance the use or you'll find out you fall behind. You do not need to go to work 40 hours a week just to pay for the electricity and the fuel bill that you can put the food in the mouth of your child maybe twice a day. Now you can feed him that he doesn't want to eat. You can shelter him. You can give him enough energy that you do not worry about what he does. And in time, when you understand how to convert, you can make new fabrics, new conditions, that the clothing, feeding, warming, is all done through one system. I have given you the essence of creation, the work of the plasma. It's you who has to take it further. And the beauty of it is, in past few months, I have taught a number of people around the world that they are doing it. The production in Manila, in, in the Philippines, is not done randomly. I have spent a lot of time, my holiday time was spent to teach them 
that they understand it and they can do it, they replicate it using their understanding to be able to break the embargo. And we have. If anything happened to us, the Philippines is so, we chosen, is so remote that nobody can do anything with it. People already can make it. And worse comes to worse, there are people who release the key, release the blue patent automatically. If the 16th of October meeting is jeopardized, on 16th of October, the keys will be released around the world. You can see the whole thing on the internet. We release it on the internet. We want you to copy it. There is no copyright. There are no circles to put around it and color it and claim it. It's free in every sense. Produce it as many as you can. Understand the use of it and make it for your neighbors who are poor, old, and needy and give one to them. Are there any questions? Please record this and distribute it. Do not wait for the Cash Foundation live stream that it can be brought up by a bunch of people who are wrongdoers. Make sure you put it everywhere across the internet. Make sure if you understand part of the nanotechnology, to teach the others that they can free them from the shackles of pain and the others. There are people who work very hard in the background to teach the basic of the knowledge. We thank you and we hope we can support you the way you have supported us in coming time.